What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and now the last video that I posted was a video compiling some evidence that I saw which helps the favor of Ridley being a playable character in the game and the reaction has been immense. I'm gaining hundreds of subscribers by the hour and I just want to say a, a welcome in advance to you guys right now even though it'll be an, a very impromptu, very short welcome because there's some new news for Super Smash Brothers that's being released at this very moment in Japan. Now as you guys know we're only a week away from the release of the game in Japan and so information is bound to come out, information is bound to leak. Now right now I have a million tabs open and I'm on the Smash Bros website because there is some crazy stuff coming out right now man. So um, let me give you a breakdown. So there's this one poster on the forums who's named um, Z Zipzo? Zipzo, yeah. And there's another guy who's called um, Neo Zero. Now the thing is these two guys somehow, some way. Or rather, I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say somehow, some way. Um, Zipzo, he actually lives in Japan, and this guy is actually playing the demo versions of Super Smash Bros. 3DS that they're having out there for people to try out. Now, the thing is, is that these versions are way more advanced than the ones that we saw at E3. Um, so there's going to be a ton of new information to get from this and the information that we're getting right now currently from all this is Immense like we're getting stuff confirmed. We're getting certain mechanics being um, Put into the game things being removed and the greatest thing that I think really I shouldn't say the greatest But the most monumental thing that we're getting amongst all this are the different kind of costumes that you can get in the game Not only that but different colorations of characters and all that so right now I'm on reddit and I'm on the smash boards forums and on reddit they actually compiled a list of all the stuff going on, you know, and all this information comes out around a crazy time when my Ridley video, for some reason, is taking off like wildfire throughout the internet at the moment through Smash Brothers websites, 4chan, Reddit, Smash Boards. It's crazy. So I mean, right now I'm just trying to keep in with the information that's relevant because this stuff is coming out at a moment's notice and right now it is 1 a.m. as you can tell by on my screen if I do have it showing we're on Japan time right now so I, I just want to make sure that I keep on top of all this information and I do want to give an advanced apology to you guys that were waiting for Fire Emblem videos but I did state before that when there's new relevant information that's a big for a series in an upcoming title, I will postpone and hold off all of my other videos that are set to be coming out until that information calms down. So you'll probably be getting your Fire Emblem videos tomorrow as usual at their normal times. But right now I have to put that on hold because this information is extremely important and I want to make sure that I cover it the right way, bring it to you guys in the format that I usually do. So anyways, now I want to open up that thread to the Smashboards, um, to the, excuse me, to the Reddit post because Reddit right now is on fire. The Smash Boards forums are on fire. Now, they Reddit basically took all the information that um, Neo Zero and Zipzo compiled. And once again, I gotta give a huge shout out to Zipzo. None of this information would be possible if this guy wasn't in Japan giving us information as he's playing the game right at this very fucking moment. It's insane. So anyways, I wanna find that, that Reddit post though. Where the hell? All right, let me see here. Let me see, let me see. Um, there we go simple. So now there's a lot of information you guys got to take in here and all of this is confirmed because Zipzo himself has the game in his possession right now. This is all 100% legit. There's so many people right now. If we go to the Smash Boards, um, if we go to the Smash Brothers um, Reddit, the, right now the hottest thing on here is something about someone transmutating a copy of Smash 3DS. Um, Zipzo's thread and then mine is number three. My, my, my Ridley video which shows some interesting new evidence or interesting new perspective. I shouldn't say new because this probably existed beforehand, but something that's being brought to the spotlight that a lot of people didn't know about. My video is the number three hot topic on the Smash Reddit right now, which is fucking huge. So I want to thank you guys for making that possible for me. But anyways, I'm 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 going off topic. So Zipso is information, right? This guy has the demo. He's breaking it down right now. So let's take a look. Um, Reddit's rule. Reddit is moving really slow right now. So I'm trying to keep on top of this by constantly refreshing. But things are th th things are a bit difficult. Okay, here we go. So now you guys have to take all this information into consideration because now we are going to be looking through this. Okay, so here we go. He says um, Smash Bros seems to be crashing a bunch and it's super slow, which makes it hard for him to get the post, and it's probably harder for him to post about the game. If possible, please go off to the Smash Boards and just read this post to alleviate the site servers. Thank you. 
And if someone has the capacity, try and reroute the Smashboards traffic to this post instead. Because the Smashboards right now, um, due to my video and due to all the information Zipto's putting out there, the fucking whole website is crashing. I mean, look at this shit. You see how many niggas is on here? Look at look at the fucking thread. Look at this. There's there's fucking two thousand people on the Smashboards right now viewing one fucking thread. Can you believe this shit? Look at the fucking list. It's crazy. I mean, so anyways, now, here I go again, once more, I'm getting off the information. So anyways, let's break it down real quick. We're gonna read through this fast. Post number one, he's updating us in post to let us know exactly what he's encountering in the demo, certain things that he's trying out. A lot of this stuff is competitive talk, so you may not be understanding the context of it a lot. Some of these things I don't even understand the context of, but I mean, the, the point is, is that the information is there. He's testing out competitive strategies and whatnot. So anyways, let's just see this. Post number one. I just played. I will be more thorough later, but right now, ledge snap is severely nerfed. I feel like it's the melee ledge grab. And Meta Knight's up B is like Mark's up B. It hits people once and sort of knocks them away and has an upward direction to it. So pretty much the same stuff. His tornado still has a lot of hits, but you can damage input, excuse me, direction input Free, um, pretty easy because the hits are actually less frequent. I don't know yet about its priority. The pivot cancel is still in. And Pac-Man is slow. Every single one of his aerials are kicks. His forward aerial is a double kick. Is a double kick. His back air is like Mario's. The thing that stood out about him is his utter sluggishness. His fall speed is like Brawl's fall speed, which is absolutely disgusting. His run speed is slow. His forward B sends a pellet out in front of him, and then he turns into the classic Pac-Man and boosts towards it. It's kind of like Greninja's Shadow Sneak thing, except you can't time it. So Pac-Man is going to be a very slow character. I just want to know how heavy he'd be in. You know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he'll be like medium heaviness because right now, I mean, Pac-Man, he doesn't really look like he would be like a like a weighty character, you know what I mean? Um, Lucario is unchanged, except that his smash attacks feel much faster, which is good because his shits took forever to come out. God damn it, Lucario. Um, Peach is unchanged, except for her up aerial. It's now a rainbow thing. It has an arched hitbox over her head. She draws it with her hand, and Zelda has a white costume and he's editing this post for more as we speak. Now, I'm going to interject in the information right now. We're going to be fast forwarding this information a little bit. There's a lot of posts that this guy's made. Uh, how many up to this point? He's made up 16, 18, 23, 25 posts. When Palutena rolls, she turns invisible. Holy shit, like she's teleported. Kirby has a naked Meta Knight alternate. So that, that alternate costume that we saw in um, Nintendo Dream Magazine is actually proven true. Um, this information, guys, I apologize. This is not going to be the clean format that Relax Relax has. You're basically watching a fanboy lose his fucking mind behind his laptop. Um, so let's take a look at some of this footage because, um, uh, what the hell is this dude's name? I keep forgetting. Um, What's his name? Oh, Zipzo. Zipzo managed to get some footage. Either him or Neo Zero, I don't know. But there's footage now of the demo that's happening in Japan right now. This was filmed a few minutes ago, straight from Japan. Let's take a look at what this is looking like right now. I got the audio on. Interesting. You can't really make out any details though because the goddamn screen is too far away. Um, but we can definitely speculate here with this. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of tough to make anything out here. But um, the, the point is, is that there's stuff that's going to be coming from this. So I just want to make sure that I'm on top of it. Um, I'm going to be constantly refreshing this page and whatnot. And I got my audio settings wrong. <laughs> that's why my audio sync kept um, being too quiet. I had it on the wrong setting. Whoops. Um, you guys have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. It's video stuff. But um, anyways, so... Oh, shit, nigga. But, um... Okay, let me get this right. But yeah, so the thing about this video is that Robin is actually featured in it. So if we look really closely, you can see that the characters that are in this are Palutena, Robin, and two others that I don't really give a damn about. I think Shulk as well. And, um... It's Robin, Palutena, Shulk, and... Uh, who is that? Ike? Yeah, I think that's Ike. So, nothing really new revealed here, but the fact that he's has footage of this now is pretty cool. And one of the updates that he posted, he said, they are killing anybody, anybody who has a camera in that demo area and is filming. They were almost ready to kick um, Zipzo out because this dude accidentally, well, not accidentally, accidentally had a camera nearby one of the 3DSs. So, this shit is real right now. 
let's take a look at some more information. So, um, Charizard can be purple, yellow, red, gray, and Mega Man has yellow and black. So, there's a lot of alternate costumes, as we found out from that pick of the day that Sakura talked about. There's another video about the demo, so let's take a look at exactly what this is now. Oh, this is the character roster! Okay, then. And this is for the 3DS, so we're looking... Oh, these Japanese dudes are so fucking lucky. They are so damn lucky. Then again, I might just be as lucky as these motherfuckers. So, <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah, there's a lot of information coming from this thing. So anyways, if we're looking at the characters that are present currently in this demo, I don't see Palutena here. Oh, there she is. Okay, never mind. Okay. Wait, is Robin there? Robin? My nigga Rob Rob? I can't even see him in there. Is he maybe available only on certain 3DSs? I don't see Robin. Oh wait, there's Shulk, but I don't see any Robin. Maybe he's further to the right of the screen. Um, it looks like there's a lot of stages. And I don't think this is a full copy of the game, obviously, but I mean, this is definitely a good deck. Oh wow, Shulk's alternate costume, and he's naked. <laughs> oh man, he's about to pull out his Monado. Oh man. All right, so, um, Pac-Man, that's Ike, that's Shulk, that's Marth, and Pac-Man. Pac-Man doesn't look all that slow. Uh-oh. Oh, the dude has to knock the camera away because I guess an employee must have been coming nearby. This is crazy. But, um, let's just look at some more information here. So, no dry balls, no dry Bowser alternate costume for Bowser. So, no dry bones. Like um, he has in uh, Project M, or is it a Project M alternate that he has a Dry Bones costume? But either way, there's no Dry Bones costume, so yeah. But then again, that seems a little bit too extreme for Sakurai to do for Bowser anyway. So um, there's no Metal Sonic. So that Metal Sonic potential leak that I posted before, totally deconfirmed here. No Metal Sonic. Uh, Marth has an orange skin. Um, let's see some more information. Fierce Deity Link is in. Now, this is one thing that a lot of people are going crazy about on 4chan right now. The fact that Link has an alternate costume, which I absolutely know nothing about, but it's a costume where he's called Fierce Deity. I don't know what game it's from. I haven't played any recent um, Legend of Zelda games. Forgive me for that, but this is a big development because this means that now there can be some really interesting alternate costumes that Sakurai can throw in there for a character. Um, so this is really good information. As a costume, Pac-Man's costumes change his gloves and shoes. Zelda has no alternate costumes, only colors, and Pit's side B fist has a bad lag if you whiff. Big KO power if you hit it at a high percentage. But the thing is, that whole that whole arm thing that Pit does now, I, I don't, I, I'm not really feeling it too much. I don't really like it. It makes him kind of slow. Um, and here's the post that's going to make a lot of people cry. Wolf is officially deconfirmed. He's not going to be in the game. Sakurai totally cut Wolf's balls off. I don't know why. I mean, he, he was the only character from the Star Fox series that was represented as an antagonist, as a playable character. Sure, we got Andros, but he's an assist trophy. But yeah, I, for some reason, Wolf isn't going to be in the game anymore, folks. I don't know how necessarily he can confirm this from a demo in Japan. How does that make any sense? But, uh... He's saying it, so for now, I mean, I guess we gotta take his word. Although, I'm not going to be 100% on this. You guys shouldn't believe this 100%, because he's only seeing what they're telling him. He's only seeing what he's playing. I don't even know if they, would they tell him? If he asked the Nintendo associate there, uh, yo, is Wolf gonna be in the game? And the associate said no. Like, I don't think that would happen. So, take that with a grain of salt, but Wolf may just be deconfirmed. Fox has an alternate skin that looks exactly like Wolf, though. He has gray fur, purple eye device, and grayish clothing. It's the only skin that changes Fox's fur. This is only a color, though, not a costume. So, it could just be that Wolf was deconfirmed, removed from the game, and then, you know, they just gave Fox a costume that kind of looked like Wolf. Let's see here. Um, the thread is being locked down apparently. All future posts seem to be from the Zipzo via the mods and Smash Bros. Okay, Pikachu has a hat with sunglasses on the front costume and a fighter headband, red and black color light thing. Mega Man has a green orange costume and a white, white red costume, a blue and white costume. Okay, Zelda's new phantom move. It doesn't hit a character up in her grill. The phantom spawns maybe a character away, so if your opponent is right up on you, the phantom will just spawn in front of them and whiff. Now there were some people that were able to test out the phantom move from Zelda um, earlier builds of the game, and they said that it's kind of sucked. And it does look a little meh. I mean, it looks cool, but the practicality of that, it looks slow. I don't know. Um, there is no Island Toon Link costume. Okay, that's fine. Um, here we go. Now here's another 
big, big piece of information right here. He was right. I used Mega Man this time, and I was reaffirmed, and I reaffirmed my experience with Ike. There was a short and small window of time after dropping off the ledge that the ledge becomes immune for you grabbing onto it again. This has nothing to do with the trump mechanic. It was completely individual on the character. It's not very apparent on characters with flips for secondary jumps as the ledge grab action waits for the flip to finish and the window for the ledge immunity seems to end before the flip animation does. Mega Man and Ike do not have flips and it was impossible for me to at the, it was impossible for me to grab the ledge after jumping slash falling off of it for a period of time. I am essentially 100% sure of this, so there will be no more edge guarding in the same way that you could in Project M slash Brawl slash Melee because you cannot grab that edge again if you let go of it a second before. You can't. I don't know how long the window would be, maybe it's different for certain characters, but if you jump, if you release the ledge and you try to jump back onto the ledge and grab it, you're not going to be able to. There's going to be a window of time where you can't, and this means you either gotta get your ass back on the stage after you let go of that ledge or get your ass off. But either way, <laughs> that is huge. That's fucking, do you guys understand the significance of a change that big? That is fucking massive. Extremely massive, like, anyways. So let's look at some more, I really wish I knew how to fucking live stream. This would be great to live stream to you dudes, but uh, oh well. So now let's see what more information we can find from this. I commented of course on the, both the videos that they posted. Uh, Let's take a look at some more info. We will refresh the Reddit page right now. Post 26. There's a picture. There's a picture. Ooh. Crom and Robin. Crom appears in Robin's windscreen? What? And the female Robin, too. Oh, wow. But damn, that's so weird. Why would Crom. I mean, I know those two have a, a really deep bond, but why would Crown appear in Robin's windscreen? That's just... Something's odd about that, man. Something's extremely odd about that. Um, there's another post. Post number 27 from Reddit. Someone asks, Why on earth is Zero Suit Samus getting two shades of blue as their alternate colors? Is purple and white really gone for really light blue? It's actually gray. I look too quickly. So um, it's not a two blue outfits that Samus has. It's actually a gray outfit. Yay. Um, fast falling is pretty swift. It also has the Ash 64 effects um, sparkle when you do the input. Okay, so um, so far information seems to be coming in at a steady rate, but there, eventually it's going to cap off because there's only so much that you can learn from a demo like this until eventually you find out all the information that it has to present. Um, they were talking about Palutena a lot in the post as well, and they were saying how Palutena is really powerful. Like They said that her up smash takes up the whole screen, which is crazy. Charizard can be purple. Mega Man has yellow and black. Okay, okay. Um, he's posting more stuff. So this is all stuff from Zipzo and the moderators. Uh, I guess they're not letting people post anymore. They're just going to be posting it up themselves. You have insufficient privileges to reply here. Yeah, and I have an account. So they're not letting regular people post. Only Zipzo and the moderator. Just to keep information from getting too crazy. But um, so far... This is crazy, man. I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout the day. If there's any more game-breaking stuff, I'll let you know. But the most important thing right now is the fact that Wolf is officially deconfirmed. Officially deconfirmed. Um, ledge grabbing. There's a window of time where you can no longer grab a ledge after you let go of a ledge. And there's a lot of alternate costumes. Fierce Deity Link, something like that. Uh, Pac-Man is extremely slow for some godforsaken reason. Doesn't even seem like he should be a slow character, but he is. I don't know why. Um, let me see. Uh, there was some more information about Robin, actually. Okay, Shulk and Robin are playable. Uh, let's see. Robin is fantastic. His magic is not slow. When he has his spell book, his attack speed is really good. If you use a smash attack in the air, it uses his magic smashes. If you use a normal aerial, it uses his other weapon. So. Robin can use his smash attacks in mid -air. <laughs> Let me reaffirm this. Robin feels amazing. Oh man, it was like it was meant to be. It was a match made in heaven. Robin is the main, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god. There's definitely not going to be any Ridley revealed in this tri in this um, demo, but we'll see. More information on the way. Um, you guys, I gotta say a big thank you to you once more. You dudes are subscribed to me from the whole Ridley thing. Thank you for staying 
Um, you're going to be enjoying the time that you have in this channel because I have a very, very special treat planned for you. And you know, I don't like people promoting me because I tell them you promote me if you want to promote me, but I highly suggest that you tell anyone you know who's into Smash to come and check out my channel, be subscribed because I'm going to have some really good shit for you. Really good shit really early. I got some shit for y'all. Anyways, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I'm going to be on Reddit. I'm going to be on the Smash boards. I'm going to be on 4chan. I'm going to be trying to figure out information as much as I can. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just some, some, some dude who's crazy about the series, bringing you the information as he sees it.